Right now, I have around $2,000 in crypto, earning roughly 25% APY, which is a delicious amount, but it's not going to stick around forever. I'll be honest, I had around $5,000, but I just cashed out some of it to invest more into this channel because the feedback has been so great. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, I'm going to explain what Curve Finance is, how it works, where all this free money is coming from, and exactly how I have invested in it. Oh, by the way, if you want to watch the tutorial of how to invest in it, you can just skip towards the end of this video. First off, we're going to need to go over some new terms. So Curve Finance is a dApp, or decentralized application, in which you can interact with using a tool like MetaMask. If you're already confused by the words I've said, please go watch other videos on this channel. They are incredibly helpful for beginners, and then come back and watch this one. Next, Curve Finance is what is called an AMM. Now this is an acronym for Automated Market Maker, which is a fancy way of saying that it is a tool that allows traders to make trades using pools of money instead of trying to connect a buyer and a seller. Now we have a specific video over automated market makers, and they are very complicated. But again, I promise if you watch our video on that and then you come back to this video you'll completely understand it. As a quick recap though, an AMM is a tool that connects investors with traders. Traders get to swap their tokens for other tokens, but they do have to pay a small fee. Well, investors earn that fee, but to do so they have to lend out their crypto. Without automated market makers, we would instead have to use the order book method that Wall Street uses. This is where we directly connect a buyer and a seller. AMMs are much more efficient, so fast because they're basically immediate, and they don't require anyone to match with, so they are great in the DeFi world. For example, let's say you had some USDC and you wanted to trade it for Ethereum. How would you do it? Well, you'd go to a decentralized exchange that allows you to almost instantly, cheaply, and without asking you for any ID, trade your USDC for Ethereum. Again, if you don't know what a decentralized exchange is, well, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of helpful links to our other videos in this channel in the description below so I don't have to keep repeating myself. So Curve Finance started as a stablecoin only decentralized exchange. They actually initially called themselves StableSwap, and this allowed traders to swap their USDC, DAI, and Tether tokens without much slippage. It is actually optimized specifically for stablecoins to reduce this slippage. Now, if you don't know what slippage is, to understand how it works, we have to first understand how AMMs work. So basically, you go to an AMM and you say, I have this much USDC, but I want Tether. How much Tether can you give me? Since USDC and Tether are both stablecoins and their price is $1, they should be the same amount of tokens. But sometimes, Tether is more rare in the pool than USDC. And because it's more rare, it'll cost you more to buy it. Now this might be confusing, but the idea is that you may have 10,000 USDC tokens, and the AMM may only give you 9,800 Tether tokens, meaning that you lost $200 to slippage, because the AMM thought that the $9,800 was a fair price using its algorithm. I explained the algorithm in our specific Automated Market Makers video. So Curve Finance started off as a way for people to pool large amounts of stablecoins together so that they could avoid this slippage. However, as time went on and investors loved the idea, Curve Finance started adding other tokens, like Ethereum and Bitcoin and a few other alternatives. This gave way for investors to earn even more money by providing their Ethereum and Bitcoin tokens as capital to the Curve's pool of money. Now, how can we earn that money? Well, we have to go over two more terms yield farming, and impermanent loss. Yield farming is the action of investing your crypto into something, hoping for a decent return. For example, I said at the beginning I was earning 25% and I am technically yield farming to earn that. I'm investing in Curve Finance liquidity pools. Again, I have a video in the description that goes over at least five different yield farming opportunities if you're interested. The next topic we need to talk about is impermanent loss. So impermanent loss is an incredibly difficult idea to understand if you're a beginner. So you'll probably have to watch all the videos linked in the description to understand it, and then you can come back to this video. In short, when you provide liquidity to Curve's pools as an investor, and the tokens that you invested change prices, the value of those coins changes in comparison to what you would have had as if you had initially just held them instead of investing. 
For example, instead of yield farming your $5 of Ethereum, if the price goes up, you would have made more money if you just held Ethereum. The greater the price difference of the assets you are investing in, the greater the impermanent loss. Right now, yield farmers collect the fees that traders pay to swap their tokens on Curve Finance. Over time, it adds up to a decent amount, and as you can see in this screenshot, the fee APY is around 4.85%. Now this does change throughout time, depending on how many tokens are in the pools, the prices of the tokens, how many people are trading, and what the fee schedule is. But that's an immediate, basically 5% APY that you can earn just for supplying your tokens. However, Yield farmers have a unique opportunity on Curve Finance to earn an extra incentive. Curve is operational on the Ethereum network and also the Polygon or the Matic network. Right now, Curve and Polygon have actually teamed up to basically reward early investors in this platform with free money. That's right, free money for investing to help get more people interested in the project, but you should know this money will eventually dry up. For example, in the same screenshot, you are seeing a 10.56% APY of the CRV token and a 9.86% APY of the WMATIC token. These percentages are based on the current value of what you have invested. So, on this channel, we love examples. So let's use an example. If you invest $100 of the DAI token in a Curves A Tri Crypto Pool, you will earn $4.85 in DAI, as well as $10.56 worth of the CRV token, and $9.86 of the WMATIC token, on average in one year. Now the cool thing about these are if you don't believe in the Curve or the MATIC token, you can immediately harvest your rewards as often as you would like, and then trade them for a token that you do believe in, like you could trade them back into Ethereum or USDC. Moving on, Curve Finance is actually a DAO, or Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which means there's no corporate board, but the owners of the Curve tokens do get to vote on changes to the protocol and even hire new developers. Right now, this is essentially the only use case of owning the Curve token, unless in the future they find a way to pass the profits from the protocol onto the token holders but that's for another video. Now, here's the second part of what the title said. On top of gaining a ton of free coins for investing, I'm also protected against Bitcoin or Ethereum crashing by the opposite of impermanent loss. That's right, I can actually use impermanent loss to protect me. Check out this impermanent loss calculator and see what happens if both Bitcoin and Ethereum crash by 50%. In this example, I am combining Bitcoin and Ethereum as Ethereum, and then giving them 66% of the pool weight, since in this example we will assume they both drop by 50%. Now, in the beginning, I had initially deposited $1,000 worth of assets, and after this simulated 50% price crash, I now have $334 of Ethereum and Bitcoin, and $334 of the stable coins. This means I should have around $500 if I was only holding Ethereum, but now I have $668 worth of tokens because impermanent loss protected me. Let's try another example. Let's say Ethereum and Bitcoin drop 75%, which actually is a huge crash. In this case, I started with $1,000, and if I only held Ethereum or Bitcoin, I should only have $250. But by investing in Curve Finance, though, I still actually have $236 of Ethereum and Bitcoin and $236 of Stablecoin, which means I have $472 instead. Now, to put this in simplest terms, if the Bitcoin and Ethereum market crashes by 75%, I will only lose 53%. Now this is roughly how impermanent loss works with investors, that it buffs the price volatility, especially when a stable coin is in the pair. Now the downside of that is that if the coins double or triple in price, I won't realize as many profits either. Essentially, I am locking in my 25% APY as long as Bitcoin and Ethereum prices stay the same. If they drop, I am protected. But if they skyrocket, I won't see the moon. So without further ado, and as promised, let's get into the actual screen share of me going from Ethereum in my MetaMask wallet to investing in Curve Finance on the Polygon network. Let me know what you guys think of this style, even if it's not specifically whiteboard oriented. It's what you guys said that you wanted in a recent poll. All right, so the first thing that you would need to do to invest in Curve Finance is to move your Ethereum funds to the Polygon network. And you can do this using Polygon's blockchain bridge. It's wallet.matic.network slash bridge. And then basically this allows you to transfer your Ethereum assets to the Polygon network. And it also lets you do it the other way. In this case, we're gonna move our Ethereum assets to the Polygon network. So we're gonna move all of them by clicking this max button 
Then we're going to click transfer and then continue and then basically continue again. And this is basically saying it'll take up to three hours to move your assets from Ethereum to Polygon. And so after I click this continue button, a little thing will pop up here by MetaMask asking me to confirm. And basically I just click that confirm button and then wait three hours. And for the purposes of this video, I've already done that. So I'm not going to do it again. But after you do that, you will probably need some Matic to actually do some stuff on the Polygon network. And this is where the Polygon faucet comes in handy. So if you go to matic.supply, you can actually use this little resource to give you free Matic. And they're basically giving out a bunch of free Matic so that people can start to use the network. As you can see here, I already have some Matic, so I'm not, again, I'm not going to use this resource. So let's go on over to curve.fi, which this is actually the Polygon version. So it's polygon.curve.fi. And the first thing you'll see is basically this really ancient looking website. Uh, the first thing that you need to click on to actually get that 25% APR is to go down here and click on a try crypto. If you click on it, it'll bring you to this page. So this page is the buy and sell page, as you can see here, and it allows you to transfer any of these assets to any of these other assets. So for example, I could transfer my DAI to Ethereum if I wanted to, and I can do that very simply by using this button. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to yield farm. So we'll go up here to this deposit button, and you can see right now it's actually telling me to switch to the Polygon mainnet, which I need to do now. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And you can see here, it's basically loaded how much of each token I have. So I have 0 0.018 Bitcoin, uh, 0 0.26 Ethereum, and then the rest is stable coins. So to start this yield farming opportunity, I'm basically going to go ahead and just click uh, this little check mark right here, which is use maximum amount of coins available, and then go ahead and click deposit. This little MetaMask notification will pop up, and I like to double this. You don't have to because the Matic network is really fast, and it's really cheap, but I like to double it just to make sure. And then go ahead and click Confirm, and if you wait for the transaction confirmation to come through, it's usually pretty quick. There we go. Now the next step, so right now if we go back to the main page, we are actually earning this 4.63% APY automatically. But there's one more step to make sure we earn this CRV and this W around 20% of both. We have to stake, unstake, engaged. And basically you just click it, and then you confirm it. And see for example that one failed, this is why I like to uh, double that number sometimes. I can't give you an explanation as to why it works but sometimes it does. For example, that one worked. So now we are actually staked. So if we go back to the beginning and we click down here where it says my dashboard, if you click that, it shows you I have $2,600 deposited into this liquidity pool. It also shows you the total daily profits, which is around a dollar, $2 a day, around $50 a month. And here it shows how much I have actually earned in Curve and Matic tokens. So that's how you invest into the Curve Finance DeFi application. I'm not going to necessarily show you how to withdraw this or anything else because I wanted this to be a short video just to test the idea of what you guys thought about these little tutorials of like screen share actually interacting with DeFi applications. So let me know in the comments below if you appreciated this and if you thought it was useful. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I really hope that you've learned something. Most importantly though, I hope to see you in the next video.